Hey there, John Warren here and welcome to this training session. I'm super pumped that you could make it on today because today I get the opportunity to pass along a skill set and valuable knowledge to you that completely changed my life seven years ago. That skill set is the ability to build a profitable e-commerce business using my unique six step breakthrough high ticket dropshipping system. The ability to build and grow this type of business changed my life radically for the better. It has enabled my best friend and business partner, Ben Knegendorf and I to generate results like this and this and this and this all while being based wherever we choose to in less than 20 hours per week. Now I'm gonna dig into the numbers that you see on the screen a little bit further through the training, but for now, just know that over the course of this training, you're going to learn how to put yourself in a position to generate similar results. You will know how to start your first profitable e-commerce business that you can run from almost anywhere on the planet that has real brand value. I'm also going to share five little known success secrets with you that you're not going to hear almost anyone else talking about online. Plus, if you stick around until the end of this session, I'm going to give you a bonus via email. That bonus is free access to a further online workshop series called How to Find Your First Profitable E-Commerce Products that will build on what we discussed today as well as, well as share some of the tools and things that I show you in this training. So stick around to the end. And if you stick around to the end, you'll get an inbox, uh, a message pop up in your inbox that will give you the details on how you access this free bonus. Now, while you're here, you'll also know, notice a comment box in the window. If you have any questions or comments at all as we go through the training, please drop them in there. And while this isn't a live session, we will absolutely get back to you with a response very, very quickly. Now, before we go any further, I don't want to waste your time. This training and high ticket dropshipping are not for everyone. This training is not for you if you are looking for a get rich quick scheme. Now, let's be realistic. I think we all know that doesn't really exist, but still we do get people on here with the wrong expectation. In my opinion, no business is for you if you have that mindset. Business requires work. If you're not up for that, then I would suggest that business of any sort is not for you. Now, with that being said, if you are ready to make a change in your life, if you're committed to taking control of your time, if you'd love to lead the digital nomad lifestyle, if you want to build assets to produce generational wealth for you and your family, if you are sick of trying to get into online business and running into brick walls, then this training is most definitely for you. You don't need any online marketing or e-commerce experience, and it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Now, while you can tell I'm Australian, I've done this in Australia. I've done this in the United States, the UK. We've got students who do it in Europe and Canada. My partner, Ben Kningendorf, lives in the US and he does business there. You can do it anywhere. You just need the will to win, to build the life you dream of. And that's what Ben and I did. I want to drop the first success secret of this training on you. That secret is to sell high ticket products, not low ticket products. And I want to introduce you to high ticket drop shipping. Now, I'm betting that you might have heard of drop shipping before. Uh, if you're here, you've probably started researching drop shipping. You probably know something about it. But I'm willing to bet that you've probably never heard of high ticket drop shipping before. Well, it's actually not new. It's the under the radar dropshipping method that people have been practicing and profiting off to the tune of millions of dollars for over 15 or more years. High ticket dropshipping is just about the best way that you can start an online business today with little to no experience and start producing profit in as little as 30 days. That's because high ticket dropshipping offers the following power combo of benefits. It's low risk. You can literally get started here for less than $500. It's evergreen. There's no turn and burn products like AliExpress dropshipping. You're building a long lasting business. This business model itself has been around consistently for more than 15 years and has produced some of the biggest e-commerce businesses in the US, businesses like Wayfair, for example. It's high profit. So when we make a sale using high ticket dropshipping, we can make $300 or more in our pockets per sale. You're building a branded asset. So you can sell a high ticket dropshipping business for six or seven figures. So that means you could sell one of these for hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars. In fact, I sold my very first business, which honestly was a pretty terrible effort 
for nearly $200,000. There is a low time to profit. So with this business, you can make profitable sales in as little as 30 days. You contrast that with the traditional business. Some traditional businesses, it takes up to two years to produce a profit. And finally, you learn transferable skills. So when you build a high ticket dropshipping business and you learn how to do it, you're actually learning a range of online skills that you can transfer to other online businesses. Um, and both me and my partner, Ben, have done that before. So there is no other online business model in 2021 and beyond that offers this same power combo of benefits for somebody who is looking to get started online. So as I said, you probably heard about uh, dropshipping and this is how the basic dropshipping model works. You start a business, you set up a website, you go out, you find some suppliers of the products that you would want to sell. When a customer places an order on your website, then you move to step two, which is that you place an order with your approved supplier for the products that the customer has ordered with you. Once the supplier's got that order, they then ship the product direct to your customer. So of course, you never touch the inventory. All you have to do is manage your website and manage your marketing, get customers to your website and make those sales. Pay for the order after your after your customer has paid you for the product and your, your supplier manages the whole fulfillment process. So that's really the basics. Now from that basic model though, we add nuances that turn into different drop shipping models. And one of the popular nuances from the last few years was to source low ticket, sort of $10 to $100 products from suppliers in China, you might have heard of AliExpress, and ship them internationally to customers in places like the US or Australia or elsewhere. You might have heard of this. Or alternatively, you could drop ship those low ticket items via eBay or Amazon. Now, those uh, drop shipping methods might have worked for some people in the past, but they don't offer the same power combo that high ticket drop shipping does. So looking at this uh, little image on the screen, if you're dropping drop shipping low ticket products, you're not building an evergreen business. You don't have high profit per sale and you're not building a branded asset. Now, you might have low time to profit, you will learn some skills, and it is still low risk, which is great, but you don't have the same strong basis to build your business off. And so let's compare. We've got an example here um, of some real drop shippable products that you can drop ship today. So on the left hand side, we have an infrared sauna. Now, these sell for about six thousand dollars and if you sell one of these and this is a real product that i've actually sold if you sell one of these you're generally making about one thousand two hundred dollars profit for every single infrared sauna you sell now compare that to on the other hand a set of fake eyelashes which are produced in china you can drop ship them from there and you would sell them for about forty dollars now if you sell one of those for forty dollars you're going to make about ten dollars profit per order. So to make the same profit selling the eyelashes as selling just one sauna, you would have to generate 120 eyelash orders. Now the eyelashes come from China and are shipped to the US taking anywhere from one to four weeks to reach the customer. Not a great experience for the customer. The sauna on the other hand is sourced from a US based manufacturer who warehouses them in the US and is shipped to the customer who is also based in the US in just two to seven days. Now, when you scale up the numbers a bit is where it gets interesting. If I sell five saunas in one day, and that's totally possible, I've done it, you would have to sell 720 sets of eyelashes. Now, yeah, you know, they're not expensive. You can sell a lot of them, but that's really a nightmare to manage. Managing 720 orders every day means you need a big team of people to help you manage that. And frankly, you spend so much time managing them that there's really no lifestyle benefit to that business at all. You're just creating yourself another job. So can you see the ways that the high ticket model of dropshipping is different from some of the more recently popularized low ticket models? Well, High ticket products, when, and when I say high ticket, we're talking about selling products that have an average value of $800 or more from local suppliers 
only. And that means suppliers who have the products already on the market and already in the same country as your customers. Well, what are the advantage of this? Well, as I mentioned, shipping times um, are what people are generally used to already in your country. So if you're, if you're in the US, people are used to getting something in less than a week. And with high ticket drop shipping, you're doing that with every order. You're working with products that are already tried and tested on the market. These aren't brand new products that nobody's seen before. Sometimes you can be selling products that have been around for 20 plus years. The brands that make the products are known and trusted by the market. High ticket products sell at a much higher margin in dollar terms than low ticket products. You can sell a $50 product and make $20 profit, or you can sell a $3,000 product and make $900 profit. What sounds better to you? Now this means, and the real benefit of this for me personally, is that you need to make far fewer sales to get the same amount of money in your pocket. And that means that you have more time to spend doing the things that you love and not spending all your time managing thousands of orders. And finally, it costs about the same to sell a $3,000 product as it does to sell a $300 product. So the marketing cost of selling a $3,000 product is not really that much different to, to what it does to sell a $300 product. And so that means, once again, that your profit is better selling the high ticket product. Now, these are the day to day benefits. Right, And I, I reckon that's already sounding pretty good, but there is one other huge benefit that I'd like to share with you at this point. A high ticket drop shipping business is also a sellable asset. What this means is that while you make great profit from the business day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year, if you choose, you can also sell these businesses for life-changing sums. Uh, so I just went onto an online business broker's website called Empire Flippers, which is at empireflippers.com. You can check that out yourself. And in a minute, I found these high ticket dropshipping businesses for sale right now. So the first one you can see here is, uh, is a dropshipping business in the outdoors and home niche. And you can see on here, its listing price is nearly $900,000. The monthly net profit that's going to the owner at the moment, so after all costs, is $21,000 every month of the year. And the monthly revenue is at just $165,000. But you can see if this person sells at their listing price, they're going to make almost $900,000 selling their business. Now, that is a life-changing amount of money. The next one in the food and beverages and equipment niche, so selling uh, things like fridges and stuff like that, once again, dropshipping business selling for $356,000, making $10,000 a month in profit. And yet another one. And this was just ones I found today. Food and beverages, again, outdoors survival and security products selling for a whopping $1.9 million, making nearly $90,000 a month net profit to the owner. I mean, that's amazing. Can you imagine that? Building a website, running it for a few years, and then selling it for $1.9 million. It's amazing. And as I mentioned, I sold my first ever high ticket dropshipping business, which was absolutely rough as guts for nearly $200,000 after just two years of running it. Now for me, that was a really nice payday. I got to tell you, um, because I also made profit almost every month that I ran that business for those two years as well. So it was for me at the time, a life changing sum of money. So secret number one is that high ticket is the sustainable way to start a drop shipping business and build a sellable asset. And it's how my business partner, Ben and I have been able to generate results like these. Now on that note, before we jump to the next part of this training, you might be thinking, you know, these are, this is all interesting, but who are these dudes? Ben and John. Well, you can see us here on the screen. Of course, I'm John uh, on, on the uh, right hand side of this image. And this is this is my partner, Ben. Uh, Ben's from Wisconsin in the US. We've been high ticket dropshippers for just over seven years now. We actually both started at around the same time. We're successful entrepreneurs with a track record of building and growing high ticket dropshipping businesses, as well as other online businesses. But I mean, it didn't start that way. That's not where we started. 
rewind seven, just, just over seven years ago, and Ben and I were in places that we desperately wanted to escape. Ben was working in a Walmart distribution center driving a forklift, and I was working in a soul-destroying human resources environment, traveling long hours and commuting for hours a day away from my family. Now, while our circumstances were a little bit different, we were both struggling financially and with the direction our lives were heading, and we have reached a point where we knew we needed to change something up. We wanted to get more in control of our finances, get out of debt, regain control of how and where we spent our time. And so probably like you are doing right now, we started exploring online business opportunities. Now, is this sounding familiar to you? Now, we actually stumbled across high ticket dropshipping independently of each other. We each came across a few other people online who were talking about the business model, and we both ended up finding a really basic course on how to get started, which is actually where we met. We started dropshipping at the same time and with very limited knowledge, no online experience. I mean, we both worked, Ben worked in a warehouse. I worked in an office uh, doing human resources stuff. So no online experience. Over the course of the next 12 to 18 months, we were both able to quit our jobs, replace our incomes. And from there, we never looked back. Now, fast forward seven years and our high ticket dropshipping experience looks like this. We built an exited exited eight high ticket dropshipping businesses. That means we've built them and we've sold them. We've built a further 15 high ticket dropshipping businesses for our clients. We've built two high ticket dropshipping businesses to a $10 million a year revenue run rate. That means our businesses were doing revenue of $1 million give or take a month every month of the year. Over the past four years, we've personally managed over $10 million in ad spend for our own and clients' businesses. We've played a role in generating over $70 million in e-commerce revenue over an estimated 251,000 e-commerce transactions. And like we've literally sold it all. Uh, you name it, as I said, infrared saunas, golfing equipment, uh, chandeliers, sofas, all sorts of stuff. We've sold it all. And we've both gone on to success with other online business models. Ben, for example, has an Amazon business where he sells his own brand of pet supplements. Um, which is called Paramount Pet Health. If you've got a doggo or a cat, uh, go and check that out. Um, it's not a dropshipping business, but he was able to use skills that he learnt high ticket dropshipping to build other businesses. But more importantly than all of those numbers, we and our families are financially secure. We're in control of our time. We haven't worked a traditional job for years. We can work from wherever we want and we are able to take the profits we make in e-commerce to invest in other opportunities. And you can see some pictures of me here with my family. Uh, we're always at the beach. You know, this is what I do day to day. I go and I hang out with my kids at the beach and I can do that because I don't have to commute three hours a day to a, to a soul sucking job. You know, I get more time off. I get more time to watch my kids grow up. And to me, that was the whole reason I got into this. And that is the most important thing. And I feel so grateful that I'm able to do that as a result of finding success with high ticket dropshipping. Now, I've thrown some numbers around there. And I want to be clear that while the things that I and my students or clients have achieved are definitely replicable, they are not typical. It took me and Ben years of study and work to figure this stuff out. When we started, there wasn't really much information about dropshipping around. We had to trial and error a lot of stuff. We lost a bunch of money in the beginning testing ideas until we pieced together the system that we use today. Now, now that we know each other a little bit better, let's get back to the dropshipping and step out how you get one of these high ticket dropshipping businesses started with a high level overview. So what we're gonna walk through here is something you can actually do today for yourself. Um, and this is our five-step high-ticket breakthrough launch system. So the steps that we're going to go through is to identify your market, build your website, identify and secure supply approval, optimize your products and website, and apply a unique marketing system to launch your business. Now, as I said, it's a pretty simple business model, high-ticket dropshipping. I want to show you more detail about how you actually do the above as we continue through this training. But first, I want to come back to some of the um, results that I showed earlier, right at the start in the training to demonstrate what's possible here. So result one, 
Uh, and I talked about selling uh, infrared saunas as an example. So here you can see from uh, one of our websites that sells infrared saunas in the high ticket dropshipping model, the results from the month of July. So selling infrared saunas, we were able to generate 200 and 27 or well, nearly $228,000 at 22% net profit. So that means in this month, we made $50,000 from, from this one website selling infrared saunas. So that's after costs, after the products had been fulfilled, after we'd paid for our marketing, after we'd paid for the products to get to the customers, we were left in just one month with $50,000. Example two here, selling hard top gazebos. So you can see an image of the gazebo there. Um, that actually comes flat packed, of course, to the customer. In just one day, we sold $23,000 worth of gazebos, right? So nine orders here, as you can see on the screen, nine orders for $23,000 at 18% profit, which gave us a net figure of $4,171 in just one day. So ask yourself, how long does it take you to make $4,000? Can you do it in a day at a day job? Well, for the majority of people, no, that's just not possible. Next example, selling air purifiers. So a much smaller product, but still a high ticket product. And in the month of July, we sold $65,000 worth of air purifiers at 19% profit. So this is a smaller business, but still for that month, we put in our pockets $12,336. So once again, you know, and this is all off a couple of hours a day to run this business for somebody, right? Making $12,000. So we're not working 40 hours a week to produce this amount of money. So compared to a job, I mean, in my day job, I, I struggle to make that much money in a month working more than 50 hours a week. Final example here. Once again, coming back to the hard top gazebos that I showed you for just one day where we made $23,000 in the month of June across a whole month, we made $738,000 worth of sales over 402 orders of these hard top metal gazebos at 14% profit, which gave us a net of a whopping $103,000. That's in the pocket to the owners after all costs, $103,000. And while results vary a little bit month to month, that's generally what this website produces each month of the year. So you've got to ask yourself, once again, this is a two, two and a half year old website. This is a life changing amount of money. So let's dive into how you actually take the first step towards launching your own high ticket dropshipping store. And this is where you can actually start taking direct action from this session today. The first step into building one of these business is to find the market that you will build a business around. Now, the term market is all about the products you will sell, who you'll sell them to, and who you will be competing with to sell those products. Now, there are a ton of great high ticket markets out there to work with. Some people might also call a market a niche, right? There are no perfect markets though, and there are definitely some markets to avoid, but picking the right market is literally one of the biggest keys to your success with high ticket dropshipping. And I'll give you the secret to success here. And this is success secret number two for our training. Your market is not your products. Your market is your customers. And what that means is, is that we're trying to find an identifiable group of people who have a common interest that we can sell products to. For example, people who love golf or people who are passionate about their well-being or people who are into woodworking. Many people who try dropshipping, like selling sets of eyelashes, they've focused on just the products. They're looking constantly for the next winning product. Um, but when you're focusing on the next winning product, it turns into what's known as a turn and burn business, a very short term business that burns out easily because you're constantly searching for the next winning product. These products come and go. They're popular one minute, and not the next. And so you're constantly scrambling for the next winning product because if you don't find one, your whole business will fall apart. And this is a mistake. Your market or your niche is actually defined by the customer who you will serve and their interests and needs. When your business exists to serve a, a definable group of customers, you no longer get stuck in the merry-go-round of trying to stay on top of individual products to sell. Your marketing is easier and you always have a range of different profitable products to sell. 
Now, how do we avoid the bad markets? And I'll, I'll walk you through that in just a moment. The first step is really to build a list of market ideas. You need to start with something. And this is literally what you can start doing right now if you've got a pen and paper. Now, I'm going to pause here for a moment and say that you might see guys online promoting their latest list of profitable products or niche ideas. You know, it'll sound something like, get my list of the top 237 products for 2021. Now, I'm just going to go out and say that stuff is garbage. Those ideas have been given out to thousands of people. The top 10 are almost always way too competitive. They should be, those lists should be avoided at all costs. And that's why we don't provide one here because it's leading people down a false trail. All you need to do to get it right is a bit of simple research. So the first thing that I do is to build a list of ideas that I can research. Normally, I'll aim to come up with 20 or more ideas. Now, in the beginning, you're just brainstorming. You aren't evaluating every idea completely. This is an opportunity to let your mind run free. And I like to do this in a spreadsheet like you see on the screen here. And you can see some examples of ones I've done. And in fact, I give you this spreadsheet in the free download that you're going to get at the end of the training. So I do it in a spreadsheet. But you can do it with just a pen and paper. So you start your brainstorming by thinking of things that people do love or are passionate about. It can be literally anything. Just start writing a list. Look around you. Think about what you do. Think about what your friends and family are into. Use Google. Look at books and magazines. Now, you know, you can go onto Google and search hobbies or things that people are passionate about. And literally, you'll find websites that just list these things out. And so if you look at the example on the screen, we've got people who love fish as pets, horse riders, DIY dudes, cinephiles, which is like people who are into watching films, health nuts, business owners, outdoorsmen, gamers, crafters, coffee lovers. These are all interest groups, people who have an interest in a particular thing. And you can turn that into products that you can sell them, high ticket products that you can sell them. So the way that you do that is if your idea is people who love fish as pets, well, what do they need to keep fish as pets? They need aquariums and fish keeping products and aquariums can sell for thousands of dollars. Likewise, what do you know? people who are coffee lovers, what, what are they into? Well, they're into high-end espresso machines, which once again can sell anywhere from $1,000 right up to $6,000. And you can sell these things to those people. So the first step is to build out a list like this and then think about for each of those market ideas, what are the products that people who have that interest would want to buy? And like I say, all you need to do, even if it's something you're not familiar with, this list here, honestly, is none of these things are things that I do personally. Um, but I just go on, I use Google. Once I know what my interest is, I'll go on to other websites that say gamers are into and I'll look at what, what are the products that they're selling. Um, and that is literally where you get your product ideas. So once you've got a list like this, and I usually come up with about 20 ideas or so or something like that, we come to our success secret number three. And that is, this secret is literally how do you um, find the good ideas and get rid of the bad ideas? So how do you avoid picking a market idea and products to sell that aren't going to work for you? Which, as I mentioned earlier, this is one of the big decisions. So I'm going to show you an actual example on the screen of doing this live in just a second. But what we need to use here are a set of criteria to ensure that we're picking a market that is viable for a high ticket dropshipping. And we have six criteria that enable us to do that. So firstly, the product price has to be right. So we're doing high ticket here. As I mentioned, the product price on average needs to be over $800 and there is no maximum ceiling. So it could be up to $5,000, $7,000, even $10,000 or beyond. Can you identify local brands for the product? So one of the big advantages of this high ticket dropshipping is that we're working with suppliers and brands that are based in the country we're selling to in, and that gives us faster shipping times to customers and more reliability. So you need to know that you can find local suppliers for the products that fit within your market. Is there the right amount of competition? So you don't want to go into a market that is too competitive and they do exist. There are many, many markets that are not too competitive, but there are some that are too competitive. An example of these is electric bikes. 
So once again, great product to sell electric bikes from some criteria. So the product price is right. There are local brands. But when you look at the competition, because it's a popular product right now and, and kind of a trending product, it's way too competitive right now. And I would not recommend that anybody starts a business in that market right now because it's too competitive. Number four is, is there recurring sales potential? So can you see an avenue to sell people uh, something more than once. Now, being able to have recurring sales or recurring business, this is one of the ways that you grow any business is having repeat purchases from the same customer. So we ask the question, can we see that happening ahead of time? Now, think about one of the examples I just mentioned, uh, high-end coffee machines or, or people who are into coffee. Well, I could sell somebody a coffee machine. I could also then sell them a grinder to grind their coffee, right? Both can be high ticket products. And so if I target and, and this recurring sales gets really easy when your market is the customer rather than the product, because if I said I was just going to sell high end espresso machines and nothing else, then I would have no recurring sales potential because most people aren't buying a new high end coffee machine very often. They might buy one once every five years and that's not quite good enough. But if I say I'm going to sell somebody a coffee machine and then I'm going to sell them a grinder, and then I'm going to sell them a mini roaster. And that all fits within that single interest. I have recurring sales potential and my business will be more profitable and grow quicker. Number five, we want to know, are there enough people searching for the products online? So is there a big enough market for this idea? Once again, this is very easy to work out using a couple of simple tools online. And number six, is the market an enthusiast market? So are people buying these products because they want them, because they love them, rather than because they need them? So for example, you know, uh, everybody needs a fridge in their home to keep their, their food fresh. And so a fridge, refrigeration, is not a enthusiast market. People don't get excited for those products. I mean, some people probably do, but really it's not the same as when you're selling products that are all about somebody doing something they love. And you want that because the marketing for in a market where people are enthusiasts about the thing is um, massive. It's massively easier. It's much easier to make money. And so that's what we recommend. So these are our six profitable market criteria. And when we're looking when we're looking at our list of ideas, we go through this criteria and we tick the boxes. Is the product price right? Can I see local brands for the products? Tick. Is there the right too much or competition? Is there recurring sales potential? And so if you have an idea that ticks the boxes, then that is a viable market idea and you've now got a, a business that you can start building an idea that you can start building around and have a high likelihood that it is going to be viable and profitable for you. Now, what we're going to do right now, I'm actually, I've told you what, what we look for, but now I'm actually going to show you how I do this really quickly and simply online. So I'm going to switch over to a browser now and we'll walk through it. You know, generators, let's go in here. And we're just going to Google generators. I'm going to start with a really, I could refine this, but we're going to start with generators. And what we're looking for on Google is we're looking for products that are for sale. And Google has a fantastic little platform here, which you would know about, I'm guessing, called Google Shopping. And we're going to slip into Google Shopping here. So you click on the shopping tab and this will take you into the full shopping page where we basically just have lists of products that we can look at. And so this is actually where we're going to do a bit of our research. And what the first thing I'm going to ask is, okay, so I thought generators might be one of my products that I could sell this to, to this type of customer. Are the product prices in the right place? So we're looking for an average. Can we establish an average product price of a thousand plus? And straight away I'm in here and I'm looking at, you know, forty six hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, four thousand dollars, thirteen hundred dollars. Now this one's a bit lower, three seventy nine. So that's a bit low. I'm going to keep looking through here, you know, $5,300, then some lower ones, $4,000, $5,000, dollars So you can scroll through these ones at the top. You can also come down and you can scroll down the page and you're going to see uh, different ones. Now, over on the side, you can also filter by price. So I can see that 
Google's this is this price list here is a, is a list of the prices that Google's got for listings of this nature, and I can see that we've got products in the one to three thousand dollar range, the five hundred to a thousand, and the over three thousand dollar range. So I can even even click into just one. Let's say I want to look at products in the one thousand to three thousand dollar range, and I can see that for this product type uh, that I could sell to this customer that I've that I've thought of. Um, yeah, look, there's definitely plenty of high ticket products. There's plenty of high ticket generators out there um, that I could be. And these are literally, we're looking at products here that we're going to seek to get approval for to sell. And so just using Google Shopping, I can, I can evaluate, yes, that this uh, market idea does have products in the price range that I like. So I would go back over um, and I would just type into my like a column and you could just be doing this on a piece of paper You don't have to use this spreadsheet, right? Average product price I'm gonna say is a thousand dollars plus because that's what you know Most of them were a thousand dollars plus so I've got a thousand dollar plus here. So I've ticked the box of my average price I'm then gonna say can I identify local brands for the product? So can I identify suppliers and brands for the products and so once again, we can come back over and use Google Shopping Right, and so I can start looking here. Can I identify different different sort of suppliers and brands? Now, this I'm searching in, in the U.S. market here, uh, and so these sellers are all U.S. based sellers, the people who are running these product listings, right? Who are going to end up being my competitors? And so if I'm looking here, I just look Honda, Champion, Furman, Nature's Generator, uh, Gold Zero, Patriot Power. I can scroll down here and see Duramax, Westinghouse, um, Briggs and Stratton, Yamaha. Uh, you know, so these are all brand names, Generac, um, and, and so on, and such forth. Now I can use the Google Shopping listings, and you know, there's multiple pages here that I can go through as well. So you can go to the next page um, and see even more results, and you can you can really just troll through this. Cummins, Onan, another brand. Um, and, and you can get AI power. So I've identified at least 10 brands here and that's what you want to do. For each product type that you're going to sell or for, for the total product types on your site, you want to be able to identify at least, at the very least, 10 potential brands or suppliers for the types of products you're looking at. So for me, for this idea, I've actually identified a number of diff a few different product types. So um, for this, so generators, log splitters, snow blowers. Now I don't need to find ten for each of those. As long as I can find at least ten in total, then this is going to be a viable idea. Now if I want to go a bit deeper to look at to look at the brands that are available, I can actually from here click through to an actual website for somebody that's selling these things. So if I find if I click on one of these. It's going to open up a website for me, Electric Generators Direct, um, and I can shop by uh, category on this site. And we can see we've got portable generators, home standby generators, commercial generators, RV generators, PTO generators. Um, and I can look and it's actually going to give me a list of brands that they're selling. So these are actual suppliers that I'm going to go out and find to sell their products. So you can see they've got just on this one website, um, they've got a bunch of different ones. Generac, Honda, Champion, Westinghouse, Winco, um, Cola, Briggs & Stratton, uh, Cummins, you know, so Honeywell. There's, there's a bunch of different ones on here um, that I can, I can know. So I can say for this, definitely, there's enough brands here for me to work with. So I'm going to say um, just for this that this is a yes for suppliers. And I'm going to move on to my next question. Is there the right amount of competition is question three. So remembering we want enough competition, but not too much competition. So we're looking for between five and 15 competitors on average for individual products. So to work that out, we then once again, we're going to go back to Google Shopping. And I'm relying so much on Google Shopping here because this is the first place we're going to start marketing our products. And we're going to look at our traffic funnel, but this is where we're actually going to start marketing our products. And so 
um, we're, what we're looking for is what's the competition on individual products. So not in total, but on individual products for, for, for these products. So what you can see with the shopping listings is if you get into this, um, this list that goes down the page, what Google does is it groups together listings from retailers who are selling the same product. So on this product, for example, we can see compare prices from five plus stores. If I click on that, it will take me to a window and I can see that there are seven sites at the moment advertising that product. For this one, it's four stores. For this one, it's two. For this one, it's five plus again. This one's a bit more competitive. It's 10 plus stores. So that for me might be getting uh, a bit borderline. This one's three. This one's five plus. So what you don't want to see when you're going through this list is you don't want to see all of these saying compare prices from 10 plus, 20 plus, 30 plus, 50 plus. And it will say that on these listings. So for me, there's definitely competition here. Um, there's definitely people selling these products, which means people are buying these products online. Uh, but there's not too much. There's a few where it's getting a bit high. And if I went into this and looked at the list, yeah, look, I mean, for this particular brand, um, there's a lot of people selling this one. And, and this is just one brand out of the ones I can see. So Duramax may not be something that I in invest much time into selling through my website, but um, most of them are in the five plus range, which means they're not more than 10. So that's okay for me. That set tells me that there is not too much competition. And so I'm gonna go back to my spreadsheet and I'm gonna say, this is a yes for me on competition. So um, then we go back to our list of questions and we see, is there recurring sales potential? So there's a couple, there's two ways to look at recurring sales potential. The first is gonna be, if I'm selling one of these products, am I gonna ever sell more than one of these products to the customer? Now, in the case of most high ticket products, no. You're not gonna sell the same high ticket multiple times. But if I think about my market idea here, can I identify different product types that I could sell to the customer over time? So if I go back to my original thinking about what are you know some of the products I could sell? Generators, log splitters, snowblowers. So somebody could own all three of those, and I'm willing to bet for this market idea I can probably come up with a few more, um, right, to fit into this. Maybe some other power equipment type things, um, you know, like pressure washers, for example. You know, I can imagine, and in fact, I I happen to know <laughs> personally guys that own all of these things, right, and so. For that reason, I would say that yes, there is the opportunity for me to put different types of products on my site that I, so that I can sell to the same person more than once. And the reason that you want to do that is because when you sell to somebody a second and a third time, you don't pay to acquire them as a customer, right? So your profit margins on the second and third sales are often higher. So I'm going to say for this one, yes, on recurring revenue. The other way you can look at recurring revenue is that maybe the main high ticket product has a range of accessories and add-on products that can be sold with it, which you can sell to a customer over time as well. So that's another way you can look at that. So at the moment for this idea, we've got four yeses. So this one's actually looking pretty good, but I've got two more questions to do. Are there enough people searching for the products? So here we're actually, we actually need to look at, um, are there enough people searching for the products? So we're gonna use a tool to do this and we're gonna go back into uh, our search engine and we're gonna to go to um, a tool um, called Ubersuggest. You can just put in ubersuggest.com into your thing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter a domain or keyword. And this is, a, this is a tool that is gonna research for us how many people in any given month are searching for um, particular things online. It's gonna give us an actual number. So if I go and I just type generator, make sure you've got it set to the country you're looking in. And we're doing the United States here. I'm gonna do a search here. And you click search and this tool, well, you can use this tool, anyone can use this tool. It's going to, um, it's gonna ask me a little uh, thing here, a little recapture thing to make sure I'm not a robot. Oh, that must be a mountain there. 
Okay, so I can see. Now you can sign up for a, for a trial with this tool um, to get more data. Um, and that's fine, but I don't need to, I don't actually need to see much here, right? So I can see that in the US, there are 450,000 people who are searching for generator online every month. That's every month. That's not a year. That's every month. Um, and then I can see variations down here. Generator for sale, 74,000. Generators for sale, 74,000. Um, generator for home. 49,500 every month. So what you want to look for is that your main keyword for your product type has at least 10,000 monthly searches, right? So 10,000 monthly searches is the minimum on the US market. If you're in Australia or a smaller country, you can cut that down to 5,000. That's your minimum viable amount. So obviously for this particular market idea, and that's just looking at just one type of product. If I went and did um, log splitter, for example, um, I'm going to see that the monthly search volume there is 74,000. So once again, just another keyword idea. Um, we've got 74,000 log splitter for sale, 12,000. So if I add that together with my generators, and then maybe I do snowblowers as well, which I'm willing to bet is at least another 40 to 50,000. Um, I've got tons of people who are searching for the products that I want to sell here. And so for me, traffic volume is going to be a yes, as in there is enough traffic volume for me. Now, lastly, uh, I'm going to ask the question, is the market an enthusiast market? I'm going to ask the question, is the market an enthusiast market? And so for this one, look, I think it's a, actually a yes and it, it's a maybe. So I think there are some people who are in this market because they're enthusiasts. There are also some products in here that people buy because they need to. So for this one, I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and I'm actually, yes, no, I, I don't think it's quite clear cut. I'm actually going to say maybe. So that's not a strong yes or no on this. I mean, some people buy a generator because they need to. Some people buy one because they want to. Likewise, some people buy a snowblower because they need to. Some people buy one because they want to. So for this one, it's a bit borderline and that's okay. But I'm going to say maybe here. So I've answered my six questions and I've came out with a yes from five, or from five out of six. So for me, that's pretty good. But what I would do now, I would say that that is quite possibly that 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 on that response is a viable one to go with, right? But if I go through my other ideas here and go through that same process, that same research process, and that is all you need to do to identify a viable high ticket drop shipping market to sell in, right? That's your first decision in launching one of these businesses. I've just worked out that yes, uh, this one's viable. But if I went through, let's say, and looked at horse riders um, and I got that, yes, it is an enthusiast market and everything else was a yes. So as in I answered yes to my six questions, then that would be a better market to go into than um, the, the power equipment outdoorsman type market. And so I would go ahead with that one. So this is literally your task now. We're going to jump back over to our, our training presentation, but I've just walked you through the exact process, the exact steps you need to do to identify your first profitable high ticket drop shipping market. You can now literally go ahead and try this exercise for yourself. You've watched me do it. Now you can do it yourself. Now, if you go through this process for any one of your ideas and you get an answer of yes, to each of those questions, you actually have a profitable idea for a viable high ticket dropshipping business. Congratulations. So once you have a profitable idea, right? Like what do you do next? Now, thinking back to our earlier list, uh, where we talked about the, the high level steps of building one of these businesses, the next step is to build a professional e-commerce website. Now you're probably wondering why on earth would I build a website now before I actually have access to any products or anything like that? For most people, the idea will be a scary one. It probably seems like a ton of work. Um, now, 
there is actually a good reason that we do this. And the reason we do it is because when we reach out to those local suppliers that we're identifying of high quality products, which is actually the next step in the process, we need to have something they can look at, some way that they can visualize our business. And if you have some way, something for them to look at, it not only shows that you're serious um, and you've got some skin in the game, but it gives the, the suppliers an opportunity to know um, that, that their products are going to be displayed in a professional manner online. And it results in significantly more approvals from suppliers when we're asking to sell their products than if you call them first before you have anything for them to visualize. So that's why we build the product, the the. Um, the, the steps first. And here's a screenshot of my first one, chicchandeliers.com.au. This is actually the first business I built. Uh, and so you can see this is just the home page. You can actually go to that URL if you like. I don't own it anymore. But this is just what the sort of website that we build looks like. And now if you've never built a website before, this might seem kind of crazy, right? You'd be like, oh, it's so hard to build a website. How do I build a website? I have no experience. I have no way of knowing how to do this. It's actually much simpler than you think. And that's because we use a, a, a platform called Shopify. We build all our websites on the Shopify platform. You probably have heard of it. It's actually a really big business. Uh, Shopify is a hosted e-commerce platform. You build your website there and it holds all of the information about your business, like your products, your customers, your orders, processes, your payments. It's also a listed company that has over a million e-commerce businesses that have used it. So it's super well developed and well supported. But one of the reasons that we use Shopify, I'm just going to run you through some examples of other sites we've built, is that uh, it simplifies the process of building a website and makes it accessible to anyone, even when they have no experience. So Shopify is where I built my first business and when I had no experience and it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. So this, the tip here is to use Shopify and build your business before you call suppliers. Um, so now, you know, I mean, you can set up one of these websites in just a matter of days. We get the branding done on a, on a, on a service called Fiverr, fiverr.com where you can get your branding designed and all of that sort of thing. But, um, uh, it's super easy to do this. It's so much easier than you think you're going to do it. But the secret is to do it before you call those suppliers. So getting down to that, once you've got your website set up uh, and there's something for people to look at, you then are going to start moving to seeking approval from suppliers of the products that you've identified for your market. And the first step here is to develop a list of all the suppliers on your local market of the products that you want to sell. And this is really just as simple as jumping back online, setting yourself up a little spreadsheet, which would look a bit like this. Uh, so I've done one here for electric bikes and electric scooters and electric skateboards, right? You can see it on the screen. On here, we have the names of suppliers, their emails, their phone numbers from the website, what their website is. And so I give you this exact spreadsheet in the free download that you're gonna get if you watch to the end of this session. Now, you know, you find these quite simply just by going onto the internet and Googling search terms like whatever you want to sell. So electric bikes plus keywords like supplier, distributor, manufacturer, or you can go onto other sites that sell electric bikes, find what brands they sell, and it'll be really easy to find that, and then put those names into your spreadsheet here. Go and find their website, get their contact details off the website. Now, once you've found your suppliers and their details, it's time to give them a call. And so success secret number four for this presentation is call your suppliers. Don't rely on email. Now, this process is so simple and it feels super daunting the first time you do it, but it's a very simple conversation. All you need to do is pick up the phone, introduce yourself and your business and ask if you can sell their products via your website. Now, suppliers are literally waiting for you to call them. This is how they make money and you're offering them a way to make more money. So people, people often ask me, how come these suppliers don't sell to customers themselves? Now, it's a good question. And the answer really is as simple as it's just not the business model they're in. 
their business is set up to sell business to business. They specialize in supplying their products to retail businesses. So that could be a physical retail store that you see down at the mall, as well as online businesses. And as I mentioned earlier in the training, high ticket dropshipping business are like the online version of those traditional retail stores that you see every day. When you go into a retail store, most of the time you go into a department store or something like that, they're not selling their own products. They're selling products that have been made by other brands, by other manufacturers. And what we're doing with high ticket dropshipping is no different to that. We are like the modern day version of traditional retail stores. Often you'll be using the same suppliers as physical retail stores do. And so this is why getting approved with suppliers is so successful because you're providing them with a business opportunity that fits with what they are already doing. It's usually a no brainer for them. So when we make these calls, we regularly see over 60% approval rates from suppliers that we call. So you'll start to get approvals from suppliers. They will share with you their product data, their pricing and everything you need to sell their products online. And the next step is just to put that product data onto your website, clean up your website a little bit more to get it all uh, looking neat and tidy. And then it's literally ready to go. And so here's just an example of a product page on a high ticket dropshipping site. You know, it looks nice. This one's selling golf simulators for $7,000. Note the price there um, to people who love golf. So success secret number five is once you've got your products onto your site, it's now ready to launch. Like you're ready to launch. And one of the great things about high ticket dropshipping is that people are already looking for your products online. You don't have to create the demand. Now, in the beginning, you want to take immediate advantage of that fact. You want to go out and put your website, put your business, put your products in front of those people who are already looking for it. We want to get straight in front of people who are, whose eyeballs are already looking for those products. And the only way to do that online is with search engines like Google. So success secret number five is going to be the exact traffic funnel that we've used for the last seven years without fail to get in front of paying customers immediately. And it does not require social media. We use search engines. Now, a lot of people who have heard of other types of dropshipping will think that you need to run Facebook ads and be on social media all the time to sell your products. You can run one of these high ticket dropshipping businesses without ever touching or posting on social media. So our exact um, uh, funnel, like sales funnel, our traffic funnel, where we get traffic from, includes Google shopping ads, which are on Google, organic search traffic, which is often called search engine optimization or SEO, you might've heard of it, email marketing, and what are called retargeting ads. Now, don't worry if those sound uh, like kind of technical terms or that doesn't make any sense to you right now. Here's a visual representation of what we do. So in the center here, we have our website and we put ads on search engines like Google, could also be Bing, for example, um, and using uh, their shopping ads. So Google has specific ads that retailers can use, um, which they put in front of people who are on a search engine looking for the products that they sell. And so we'll set up ads and run them there and we'll send people who are searching for the products that we sell on Google to our website where ideally a portion of those will purchase from us on the first time. Now, for some of them, they won't purchase straight away, but we'll then use email marketing or Facebook ads and also some ads back on Google to retarget them. You know, often people don't buy on their first visit to a website. So we'll keep showing our products to them until they're ready to buy, in which case they move over to here and then we're just rinse and repeating this system. We get more first time traffic from search engines who come to our website to see our products who are ready to buy very soon or now and they purchase. We fulfill the orders and this is our traffic marketing system. Now this is enough to build a business to seven figures in revenue. So just with this simple traffic system, you can do enough to 
build a business to $1 million a year in revenue. Now, there are other things you can add to marketing a high ticket uh, dropshipping business, and I'll mention those in a little bit, but this is literally, it's this simple. Now, you need to know how to do it right, but it's a very simple traffic system. So I want to ask you a question. What if you knew how to completely build and grow a high ticket dropshipping business that allowed you to take control of your time and produce that sort of income from anywhere? Like, have a think about it. What if you could produce 10,000 a month in additional profit for yourself? What if you could produce 20,000 a month? Even some of our examples where I showed you a site that was doing $100,000 a month, not in revenue, but in profit. Can you see how that would transform your life forever? Well, it is possible. You've just seen what the process needs to look like to build and launch one of these businesses, that there's a reliable system you can follow that's built on over 15 years of combined high-ticket dropshipping experience that will allow you to get started and that you can implement this system right now. I mean, I've shown you the first steps. You could actually start doing this right now, no matter what your existing life experience is, how old you are or where you're based in the world. And implementing and mastering this system can be the key to your financial security and your time freedom. You can do this from anywhere. You know, you want to travel the world while running a business? This is how you do it. And the best thing is once you master it once, you can also implement it again and again and again to create a portfolio of high-ticket dropshipping businesses that are, as we mentioned earlier, real sellable assets that you can make even more money off of in the future by selling them to other website buyers. And this means that your money and your time will never be an issue for you again. So well, where do you go from here? Well, if you feel confident enough to take this knowledge right that I've given you right now and get started building and launching your first high ticket dropshipping business, hey, please do. The knowledge is now yours. But a few words of caution, right? As with most things in life, when it comes to building something significant, success will be in the details. Just because you know the game of football, for example, and how it's played, doesn't mean you can walk out onto the field and win a Super Bowl, right? Or a grand final if you're if you're an Aussie like me. Well, it's no different here in business. What I've just shared with you today are the rules of high ticket dropshipping, and it's taken me seven years myself, as well as Ben's combined seven years of dedicated study, millions of dollars earned and spent, and daily practice to really master it. Now, was all of that worth it? Absolutely. As I said, it's allowed me to change my life, spend more time with my kids, do the things I love doing on a daily basis rather than just every now and then, and I would never change that. Uh, learning this is what allowed me to go from working 60 plus hours per week, commuting three hours per day, to earning millions of dollars and living the life of my dreams with my family. But I did study and practice every night, literally for three to four hours after work for a long period of time. And then after I left my job, continued to work on this full time, you know, until I was able to get it right. So the bottom line is you can't, it's, it's really hard to skip that process, right? I mean, if you want to be a doctor, you have to go through med school. And if you want to make a lot of money selling physical products online, you have to master building and then marketing businesses, period. But let's face it, I mean, seven years is a really long time. And I don't know what your confidence level is when it comes to building and growing one of these businesses on your own right now. Would you say you'd be 20% confident you could do that? Maybe 30%? Well, what would your confidence level be if we walked you through the entire journey step by step and held your hand the whole way while you implement it? Would that increase your confidence level to, say, the 90% range? And what if we could shorten your learning curve down from seven years to just 30 days to launch and 12 months to hit 100,000 in revenue? Well, right now, I want to give you that opportunity. Right now, my partner, Ben, and I are ready to walk you through the complete masterclass of building and then growing a profitable high-ticket dropshipping store. Now, this masterclass provides the exact step-by-step -step system you can use to start one of these businesses in as little as 30 days with no experience and for less than $500. Now, the program is called 
dropship breakthrough. And it should come as no surprise that I call the marketing system we've talked about today the dropship breakthrough system. As one of the participants, we're going to create a high ticket dropshipping business from start to finish together so that by the time we're done, you'll have your own high ticket dropshipping business in place that is profitable, predictable, and will work for you for years to come. So if you're tired about worrying about money, if you want to create results like some of the ones I've shown you, this and this one, this one and this one that we walked through earlier in the presentation, if you want to take greater control of your time, if you're stressed at the thought of working a dead-end job for the rest of time, <laughs> which I was once upon a time, and if you want the freedom to produce income from anywhere there is an internet connection, and if you want to create the life that you dream of, then this program is specifically for you. So here's how it's going to work. Dropship Breakthrough is an online education and group coaching program. By the time you're done with it, you will have a complete and growing high-ticket dropshipping business in place. In other words, we're going to help you assemble each of the components of the Dropship Breakthrough system. So here's what we go through in the build phase of the program. Now, across 70 videos, we walk you through how to set up your business, how to identify the, the right market to sell in. So exactly what we've been through on this training session, but in even deeper detail, step by step, how to build your website. We actually walk you through every single step in setting up a website on the Shopify platform to our high standards. How to identify and gain approval from suppliers. We give you the scripts. We give you the directions. We tell you exactly how to have the conversation. We give you examples so that you literally can't fail at doing that. How to optimize your products and site for a conversion. So how to, when you get access to products, how to present them on your site in the best way possible so that people will want to buy them. And then how to launch your business profitably and step-by-step step set up that traffic funnel that I showed you as our success secret five. But the program doesn't stop there, right? Now, once your business is launched and you have your complete high-ticket dropshipping business set up, we have the complete marketing system available to you to learn. And this is where Dropship Breakthrough takes our offering to a level that is simply not matched by anyone else on the market. We've got over 13 additional modules of high-ticket marketing knowledge. And so while building the right business is super important, that really doesn't matter if you don't know how to market it and how to grow it, how to bring more and more people to it. So marketing your business is just as important as setting it upright. And in Dropship Breakthrough, we go super deep and comprehensive into the specific marketing system you need. And it's a marketing system that is capable of growing your business to $10 million plus per year in revenue, which both Ben and I have done. And so over this time, you will literally become a master of the following marketing strategies, tactics, and channels. Google Ads, search engine optimization, content marketing, conversion rate optimization, backlink building, Bing ads, Facebook ads, retargeting, email marketing, customer multiplier funnels, the high ticket dream 100, affiliate marketing, upsell marketing, quiz funnels, how to brand your own products to sell alongside your drop shipped products, as well as outsourcing and automating your business. So there is a ton, over 200 videos on how to implement these strategies into your business. And you remember back at the start of the presentation, I talked about how when you build one of these businesses, you learn a set of skills that are transferable to other online businesses. Things like search engine optimization, content marketing, Google ads, other people will pay you for your knowledge in those areas. When you go through these modules, you will be as good at these things as anybody else online. Now, all of that is not including some of the amazing program bonuses that you will also get access to, which I'll dive into in a moment. But first, I just want to share some of the thoughts of some of the other e-commerce business owners just like you who've successfully implemented the Dropship Breakthrough program and have or are implementing the Dropship Breakthrough system at this point in time. And I've got to say, you can definitely check out more and more reviews on dropshipbreakthrough.com if you want to see those. But we've worked with people 
from all over the world. So in the US, in Australia, um, in the United Kingdom, we've got students who have worked through this who are based in somewhere like Thailand. They're living in somewhere like Chiang Mai and running a business in the US, for example. For example. We've had students in Vietnam, in Singapore, in New Zealand. And so you can find out much more on our website there. So today I've shown you beyond a doubt that it's absolutely possible to create a high ticket dropshipping business that will allow you to take greater control over your time and finances than ever before, even if you have no prior experience. So if you're interested in that, you're probably wondering, well, um, what about the price? Well, I've got a special, a double special offer for you today. It's not just a special offer, it's a double special offer today um, that can get you into Dropship Breakthrough. And it's not going to be repeated anywhere else. This is just for people who watch this training session. So stick with me here, hang in there for a little bit longer. The everyday retail price for Dropship Breakthrough is $3,997. So if you bought it through our website or any other, that's how you would get it offered. Now, if that sounds expensive, keep this in mind. Like if you went out and tried to work out all of this stuff by yourself or to pay other people to do it for you, it would cost you more than $50,000 and possibly even a percentage of every sale to outsource this. Like people who help you with this stuff will often ask you for equity. Um, in your business and that sort of thing. So it would cost you at least that and probably much more to buy an already profitable high ticket dropshipping business, which as we looked at, these can sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars or more. Dropship Breakthrough will teach you how to build and grow a high ticket dropshipping business for less than one tenth of that amount. And you will then own these skills and valuable knowledge for life, which means that you can replicate the process again and again and again. You can build one two, three, or even five profitable stores if you'd like over time and have an e-commerce portfolio. Now, the fact that you're still here watching at this point, which I appreciate very much as does Ben, but this means that you're actually serious about changing things up in your life. So here's what we're gonna do. Our biggest thrill in life is getting feedback from people that we saw before, like Joe and Reese and Candace, who have used the Dropship Breakthrough system to change their business and their lives. So if you are willing to invest today, we're willing to invest in you. We're going to take $2,000 out of our own pocket, and I'm going to invest that in you and your future success with Dropship Breakthrough. So right now during this training, we're going to give you a 50% discount on our core program and reduce the price to just $1,997. But wait, there is more. There's more. I always wanted to say that. Remember that infomercials? But wait, there is more. Today on this training session, I've got a special offer for you on our elite membership upgrade. This is something that really turbocharges Dropship Breakthrough and will help you to lock in your e-commerce success. Members of the Dropship Breakthrough Elite program have access to much higher levels of support from myself and Ben than people with access to just our core program. So our core program is basically all of our lifetime access to all of our content, all of the step-by-step -step video lessons and their attachments. But when you're part of the Elite program, you get the additional things. You get unlimited access to our group coaching program. We have 10 to 20 small group coaching calls that me and my ben, myself and Ben host with our Elite members through, to help them through the process of building and growing their business. We have 10 to 20 of those every month of the year uh, every year, right? And when you're in the elite program, you get access, unlimited access to them. So you can join as many calls or as few calls as you want. You also get access to our complete catalog of all past and future group coaching recordings. So we record these calls for people, for elite members later reference, and you get immediate access to all of the past ones, which is a treasure trove of additional content to help you grow your business. You get access to Ben and I directly via our Dropship Breakthrough Elite Slack channel. So if you use uh, Slack, it's a communication channel um, that businesses use. And this is our priority support area where you can get direct access to us in the quickest way possible. So you've got a question, you jump in the Slack channel, you ask it. Me and Ben will see it as well as other members of the Elite uh, of our Elite members and they'll get you an answer. And then finally, you get lifetime access to our paid podcast and all existing 
as well as future episodes. And that podcast is called The Dropship Podcast. You might have heard the free version already. That might have even been how you got to this training. We have a paid version of that, which we sell to people. You're going to get access to that as an elite member. And once again, this is a gold mine of additional dropshipping content to help you build and grow your business. So our elite membership is a monthly membership. So usually we charge $297 a month to people when they join outside of this training. So once again, if you are somebody who bought our core program for $1997 and you said, I want to upgrade and add the elite membership, outside of this training, we charge you $297 a month for that. But today, we will offer you our elite membership for just $97 a month, but it gets better. I'm also going to offer that to you with a free 30-day trial before you pay anything for the elite upgrade. So if you don't like it in the first 30 days, you can cancel your elite membership and just revert back to our core membership. But I know you're going to love it. So I want to get people in there so you can feel and experience how awesome it is. So you can join our elite membership for a trial today and pay as much as you would pay to join the course. So that means you can join today for 1,990 days $7 plus a 30-day free trial, then $97 a month. Now, if you're ready to go, you can see a button has popped up in the window. Uh, It'll either be below this video or just to the side, depending on what uh, device you're watching it on. All you need to do is click that button and a new window with our secure checkout will pop up. Just keep that window open while you fill that in and keep this window open because I've got some more to tell you. Now, there is a small catch, of course. Your $3,000 discount is only good for the next 48 hours. As I said, it's a, it's a big discount that we're offering here and we don't make it lightly and we don't just leave it open-ended. And wh- why is that? And that's because decisiveness is a trait shared by all successful entrepreneurs. Simply put, you cannot build a business while sitting on the fence. So I want you to jump off that fence right now and get in the game. I'm giving you a massive incentive to do this. Make the decision now to change your future. You might be wondering, well, this sounds all good, John, but what if it doesn't work for me? Right? What if what if I give it a go and it doesn't work? Oh, look, that's a good question. Right, we want to make this a completely safe decision for you. We want to remove any risk in this venture for you. So we're going to make you... Uh, our unprecedented double down guarantee and literally look no one else is doing this in the online education and group coaching space that i'm aware of at this point first and foremost we're going to give you a no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee so if you get in there you go through it you do some of the work and you don't like it you don't think it's any good or for any reason really um, or you just can't do it You just have to request a refund in the first 30 days by emailing our team at support at dropshipbreakthrough.com and we'll get you a prompt 100% refund. Now, the second half of our double down guarantee is where things get really interesting. Our goal isn't to sell just to sell you a training program, right? I want to prove that to you right now. Our ultimate goal is to turn you into a successful high ticket dropshipping business owner who can sell a ton of products and leave us more fantastic reviews. Um, But it's also to help you create the income, purpose, and freedom of your dreams. So here is our promise to you. We're guaranteeing that you will generate at least $100,000 in revenue in your first 12 months of business. Now, if you implement everything you learn and participate in the elite program, etc., for 12 months and you don't generate $100,000 in sales, we'll pay you back what you invested in the program. On the other hand, If you do produce $100,000 in revenue after implementing everything you learn in the program and you're willing to share proof of that with us, with me and Ben, uh, via a testimonial, then we will also pay you back every cent you paid me or us for the training. So if it doesn't work for you, you get your money back. If it does work for you and you're willing to share that, you get your money back, right? So we're putting our mouths where our money is here. We're going to pay you to grow your business and change your life. Now, I've never seen anyone else willing to do this with an online e-commerce marketing program. So literally, why are we? Well, the reason is, is that we want to reward people who take action. And we know that if you at least generate 100,000 in revenue, you will make a ton more 
right? And it will have made such a massive impact on your life that you'll be a raving fan and customer of ours again in the future. Honestly, that's why we do this. So from my point of view, it's an investment in our most valuable asset, which is our customer base, which is you. So that means there's literally no way you can lose here if you're somebody who take takes action. At a bare minimum, we'll give you a full 30-day money-back guarantee to go through the first month of the program and see what you think. And when you find success with the program, I'm going to send you 100% of your money back. So here's how to get started. Like I mentioned, either below or to the right-hand side of this video, you'll see the button uh, that's just appeared to join Dropship Breakthrough. I want you to click on that button right now to join. And when you do that, a fully secured checkout page will pop up in a new window. So you can uh, fill it out and while you continue to listen to the rest of this training. Now, the checkout page, by the way, looks like this. Um, all you need to do, this you, you'll see there's a list of what you're getting when you join. All you need to do is put in your name, last name, email address, select your option. And so you'll see here, you can purchase just the core lifetime membership or the core lifetime membership plus the elite upgrade that I ran you through. Either way, you're gonna pay the same amount today. $1,997 because you get a free 30-day trial on the Elite Upgrade. So literally, it's a no-brainer to just select that one and go ahead. Put in your payment details and hit the Join Today button and you are in immediately. You'll be right into the program and you can get started straight away. Now, you will notice here there is a little box here that says Dropship Website Design and Build. So this is an add-on that you can add to your order if you want. It's $1,450, and if you add that in, we will actually build your website for you to our high standards and to the exact way that we teach it in the program. So if you want to skip ahead that whole step and not even bother with setting up your website, not even worry about learning that, we will do it for you. We'll build you one of the best e-commerce websites you've ever seen for the price of $1,450. $1,450. So if you click that orange button, that will add that to your cart and we will get the ball rolling on that for you. But you definitely do not need to do that. That's an optional extra. But like I said, if you're somebody who wants to move faster and the thought of building a website is just like, I don't even want to learn that, then you can choose to have us do that for you. So that's the checkout page. After you fill that out, you'll get an email with all of your login details to our members learning area, as well as instructions to access all of your elite program upgrades. So you'll get email access to everything. Oh, and by the way, make sure you forward the receipt email for the purchase to your accountant because Dropship Breakthrough is a tax deductible business expense in most countries. Now, as you're filling that out, we've got one more surprise for you. We've made no secret that we want to do everything we can to make sure you succeed with this program and changing your business and your life. So in addition to our massive discount, 50% discount and our crazy double down guarantee, we've got some other goodies for you that you're going to get if you join uh, today. So we've got a series of fast action bonuses um, we're going to uh, provide to you. So these bonuses combine up to about $4,073 US dollars worth of value if we sold them separately. And if you join, uh, like I said, in the next 48 hours, if you're fast, you're going to get access to these bonuses. So you're going to get three one-hour long one-to-one -one coaching sessions with me. Now, if you bought those individually, they would come out to $1,500 US dollars worth of value. So you're gonna get three one hour long one-to-one -one coaching sessions with me. Now, if you bought those individually, it would total 1,500 US dollars in value. You can use those anytime. So anytime you wanna do a deep dive into your progress through the program, you just book it in and we'll jump on a Zoom call and we'll work through whatever you're working on. If you have questions, sticking points, anything like that, you'll work through that with me. You get a free ticket to Dropship Breakthrough Live, which will, at this point, the next one is in 2022, once international travel is uh, going again. Uh, which is our live event where we get all of our we get students together we have presentations we do talks we do all sorts of stuff together we hang out it's a great networking event so you'll get a free ticket to that you'll get a bespoke business action plan which will be developed by me and Ben that you get when you launch your business and this will step out specifically for your chosen market your the rest of your journey for building your business you get a premium Shopify theme 
So this is what speeds up your design process. When, you, when you're building a, a Shopify website, you base it on a theme, which does all of the background coding work for you. So we're gonna give you one of the best ones available for Shopify. Usually they sell for $300, which you would have to pay if you just went and started a Shopify business now. We're gonna give you one of those for free. And it's the one that we use on our own high ticket dropshipping sites. And then finally, you get access to our market verification service. And this is really important. When you select the market and the products that you're gonna sell for your high ticket dropshipping business, you can send that to us and we will do the research and double check it for you and then get back to you and say, yes, we believe that this is a profitable market idea. You should go ahead and build that business. Or if it's not, We'll say, look, no, sorry, that's not a good idea. Go back to the drawing board and come up with a different idea and then we'll verify that for you. So when you join before the deadline, you're going to get access to all of those, um, at, which comes to, a, as I said, just over $4,000. So let's just do a quick recap. Um, when you join before the deadline, we're going to give you a whopping $3, $2,000 discount on our core program. Uh, and reduce the price for from three thousand nine nine seven to one thousand nine hundred ninety seven. Um, and if you add at checkout the option to upgrade to our elite membership program, you get a thirty day free trial, which you can cancel at any time, and then just ninety seven dollars a month, and you get access to our highest level of support. Now I take suggest you take that action right now so you don't forget. You get our thirty day money back guarantee. Um, so you can go through the first month without any risk whatsoever. And then you'll get access to our full double down guarantee where we pay you back the full cost when you are successful or if you're not successful. And finally, we're going to give you access to a series of membership bonuses once you're into the program. So all you need to do at this point is to click the checkout button on this page, fill out the checkout and hit submit and you'll get instant access to the program. If you change your mind at any point, you have our guarantee that we will back you up. So at this point, literally you've watched the entire presentation. Thanks for sticking around. This was a lot of fun for me. Um, I've enjoyed taking you through that. You've seen what the process needs to look like to build and grow a business that produces millions of dollars of revenue per year and changes your life. And it's clear that the Dropship Breakthrough program will show you how to create a profitable, predictable system to build and grow your business. And if you can start implementing it right now, no matter what your previous experience in life is. Is. So I'd like to invite you one last time to participate in this priceless program so you can start growing your business the way that you dream of and change your life in the process. We've made sure that this is a completely safe decision for you to make without any risk whatsoever. So click the checkout button now on the screen to get started. Look, finally, thank you so much for joining us here today. And I'm looking forward to helping you grow an incredibly successful high ticket dropshipping business now and into the future. So that's the end of the presentation, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to still answer some questions. So while this isn't a live training session, um, you know, this is one that's pre-recorded, uh, we do get a range of questions um, from people. So if you're still kind of thinking about joining, I'm going to run through a, a lot of bunch of questions now that we commonly get from people who are looking to join the program that we usually get through our support line and that sort of thing. And so feel free to hang out here and listen to the answers to some of these questions, or you can just go ahead right now. As I say, the button's still there to join the program and just get stuck into the program right now. So the first question I'm going to take is, what is the secret to success with high ticket drop shipping? So this is a question we get all the time. Like people think that there's some secret to success. Now, the secret to success is actually a really simple one. Um, now, I've worked with over five directly, one-on-one -on -one with over 500 high-ticket dropshipping entrepreneurs over the last five years. That's my experience. So I've seen what leads to success and what's common amongst the people who don't succeed. And I'll tell you what it is for a vast majority of those. It's actually their own commitment. So we're going to give you a process to follow. Right, But what we can't do, and it works, undeniably it works. It's worked for me. It's worked for my partner, Ben, multiple times. It's worked for our clients. 
It's worked for our students. It's worked for people we've consulted with. We've seen hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people find success with this in countries all over the world. And so we know the process works and we're going to give all that to you. But what we can't do is make you follow along with it until it works for you. And so that's really the difference between those who succeed and those who don't. It literally comes down to consistency and commitment to follow the process, i.e. if you quit out of it, you will not be successful. So we're giving you the process, but your seat, the secret to your success is your ability to follow it until you find the success that we're talking about or your version of success, whatever that might be. And it is different for everybody. So that's really the secret. The secret is there is no secret. And, and that's not just for this type of business. That's for any business. If you're someone who's flaky, if you're somebody who quits out of things easy, then and you continue to do that, you will never find success with any business. Now, if you are that sort of person who's had a history of quitting things, now is your opportunity to change that. Take a stand, do something different and stick with this. And as I've already said, as we've gone through the presentation, I will guarantee your success if you can do that. I am guaranteeing that. Um, but that's the secret to success. Uh, next question. Aside from the joining Dropship Breakthrough, what are the other costs to get started with the high-ticket dropshipping business model? Well, this is one of the fantastic things. Uh, and once again, a really common question. It's a good question. But these are, these are one of the, this is one of the fantastic things about this business model is that um, at, that I mentioned earlier in the training is that the, the cost to get started is very low. Right? And this is one of the things that attracts people to dropshipping. So yes, you're going you're gonna to join Dropship Breakthrough and, and there's a reasonable cost there. You're getting uh, an almost uncalculable amount of value for that, in my opinion. But what other costs are there? Well, you're going to buy a domain name for your website, which will cost you between $5 and $20. You're going to sign up for a Shopify account to build your website on. Um, now, you're going to get a 14-day free trial of Shopify. So the first 14 days, you use it, you're use you not going to have paid anything. Um, after that, it's $29 US a month. So once again, super small. So where are we at now? We're at $50. Until you launch your business, you, you may pay for some, get some branding done on a, on, a, on a platform like Fiverr or something like that. That might cost you another $20 to $30 to get a logo made. And that sort of thing. And we show you how to do that in the program, right? We walk you through how to do all of that. So you, you'll know how to do it. That's going to cost you, like I say, maybe an extra $30. So we're, we're at, let's say we're at $100 here. That's 100 bucks, right? To get your business to the point where you can launch it. The only other commitment from you is really, it's just your time, right? You're just going to have to put in the time to do, to do the work in those early stages until you're ready to launch your business. Now, when you do get to the point where you can launch your business, you're ready to go, you're ready to start sending customers in, then you're going to start spending some more money on marketing. And so we generally say that people in their first few months of business will spend around $1,000 in marketing. Now, that's going to be, a, that works out to a rate of about $30 a day if you want to break it down to, to a daily amount. But here's, here's, the, here's the great thing. Yes, you're going to spend that money, but at the same time, you should be making sales while you're making that. So very early on with high ticket drop shipping, the sales pay for the marketing. So while your spend might be at $1,000 a month, you should still be making some sales which are contributing profit back to you at the same time. And you're not actually ideally investing much of your own money in because your sales are covering much of that spend. So that's what you can expect from a cost perspective. All right, next question. Am I going to need to pay for any other courses or upsells either within Dropship Breakthrough or to, to be successful? Um, look, the answer is no. You will never need. This, this is an all-inclusive and comprehensive program. It is incredibly comprehensive. As I said, at the time of recording this training you're watching, we have over 250 videos in the, pro, in the complete program through launching your building and launching your business through to all of the marketing channels you need to use, and all of the things you need to do, managing your finances, managing your time, outsourcing, all of the things you could possibly need to do with this business, we actually have covered in the program. And we're able to do that because between, as I said, between Ben and myself, we have 15 years of combined experience 
with this model. We've taken the time. We've actually been building this course since 2019. It's been built upon and built upon, and we're adding in new lessons as we learn new things every month of the year. Right? This is constantly updated. And so you will never have to buy another thing. Also, there are no other upsells after your first purchase here to join the program. There's no upsell that you need to be successful with the business model. It's a one cost here and you will never need anything else again. You will have everything you will ever need and all the support you will ever need to um, build a successful high ticket dropshipping business. Next question, uh, and this is a good one. I get asked this one a lot. How can I compete with bigger e-commerce companies like Amazon? Uh, well, it's quite simple, actually. Uh, and bigger bigger e-commerce companies, you will be competing with them. Amazon, eBay, you know, these sort of ones. Uh, maybe if you're in the US, Walmart uh, or Costco or, or Home Depot or something like that, right? Um, here's, the, here's the thing, right? And this is why we take the approach of being market specific or identifying a target customer. And that's the only person we're going to serve. We, we create what's called a niche business. So we're very focused on one person and we, and once again, the course teaches you how to do this, but we provide them a level of specific service for their needs and their passions and their interests that big companies like Amazon can't do. Amazon has to try to please every single person out there, right? And they do that and they do some great things as a business, but what they don't do is focus on doing any one thing particularly well, like serving anyone um, identifiable customer. Whereas what you will do is make everything about one type of customer. And so for just that one type of customer, you will do a better job of e-commerce and of service and of marketing than Amazon will because they can't. They can't go to that level of detail because they are so big. Um, and so that's how you win. That's how you win against bigger competitors. No, you can never be bigger than Amazon, but you don't need to be. To change your life both financially and for time freedom, you only need a fraction of what Amazon does, like a tiny fraction, and you would still be what you would consider wealthy if money is your goal, for example. So you don't need to worry about out-competing Amazon because, in, in total because you're only out-competing them on a tiny, 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 tiny fraction of what they actually do, and that's what makes it achievable. Next question: Should I open a Shopify account right now? Uh, no, don't go out, don't go out and open a Shopify account right now. Um, wait until you're at the point where you need to build your website. Um, so we have links to do all of this in in the in the in the program. Um, but you get a 14 day free trial with Shopify. So once again, don't activate that until you actually need to start doing a Shopify account. So you've got to go. Um, through identifying your market, getting that verified by us and everything before you need to do anything in a Shopify account. So you're better off waiting until you get to the stage where you're ready to start building your website in, in our five-step launch process. Um, open your Shopify account at that time. Um, and, and, and by that time, you'll, have, you'll be looking at our step-by-step -step of how to set that Shopify account up as well. Uh, so it's fresh. You set it, you open it now, you might... You know, make some mistakes in there that you'll have to go back and fix later because you haven't learnt um, the best way to set up a Shopify account yet. Uh, next question: Is it really possible to start a high-ticket dropshipping business in 30 days? So I've mentioned this a couple of times throughout the training: is that you can start a high-ticket dropshipping business in 30 days? Yes, it definitely is possible. Will everybody do that? No, not necessarily. I mean, the reality is that everybody has different amounts of time available to do this. So if you're somebody who can only spend an hour a day or uh, some time a few days a week or some, because you have other commitments in life that mean you, you don't have a lot of time to spend on it, you can still do it and you will still get a business launched um, and you can, you'll still make money and you'll still be able to transition at some point over to spending more time in your business and less time on other things. But it might take you more than 30 days. That's okay. Likewise, some people have even done it in less than 30 days because they had a lot of time available to really focus in on getting the work done. Once again, that's fantastic. But once again, the amount of time it takes you to get started and launched is actually not going to be indicative of your success over time. right? So some people start a bit more slowly and end up making more money after 12 months or 
two years or something than people who started really quickly. So it's a good question to ask and it's good to know that it is possible if you are somebody who wants to move quickly, but you don't have to, right? You don't have to, um, it's still gonna be okay, right? You're still gonna get there. Next question, can I do this sort of business as a side hustle? Yeah, you actually can. Right, and and I've worked with quite a few people who have done that. They they have a day job that they like to do. It's it's it it, it in and of itself is in an area of their passion, um, and but they want to produce a bit more income. They want to you know have a bit more diversification in their life, and so they they look into starting a, a little business that they can run on the side of their day job. Um, and high ticket dropshipping can definitely fill that space. Um, you know, your needs are going to put in a bit of time outside of your work hours to get it up and running and get started. But once you get it up and running, you know, a lot of the tasks in the day to day can actually be outsourced to virtual assistants and things like that. And we show you how to do that in the program. So like I say, I mean, these businesses can be managed as an owner with as little as an hour a day or in some cases i mean i know people that don't even spend an hour a day on these businesses once they're making some sales they might spend a a couple of hours a week on it Uh, that is achievable it is doable Um, and if you're somebody because that your life requires you to do that um, then that is a possibility for you and we can show you exactly how to do that if that's what you want to do Next question, isn't dropshipping too competitive in 2021? Now, yeah, yeah, look, I mean, good question. We, we get that. Now, we've, we've looked at how do you, um, <clears throat> how do you identify your dropshipping space, uh, your market, and, and how do you identify whether there's too much competition? I mean, you've seen that's part of how we identify the right market to be selling in. So you're going to go through that process. And if you go through that process, you're going to guarantee that you're in a market that's not too competitive. But no, the answer is actually it's not. And we get asked this question every year. I mean, people have been asking this question every year since I started seven years ago. And I'll be honest and say, I don't think it's much more competitive than it was seven years ago in the high ticket space. The great thing about this business model is to this point in time, it's still very much, it's always been happening. It's always been there. And as, as I said in the training, there's... Um, you know, a lot of examples of really big businesses that do it, but it's kind of under the radar. It's not the, in quotation marks, sexy thing that you hear everyone talking about. And so, um, yeah, it, it's it's not really getting super competitive. And, you know, businesses come and go as well. People come and go in and out of the market. So, you know, there's some businesses in the high-ticket dropshipping space that have been around for years. Um, but there's some, you know, people come in, they run them for a year or two, they sell them on or... <clears throat> they move on to a different thing in life as well. And so that happens. But there are so many market ideas out there still that it's definitely not too competitive. But as I say, you're going to go through the process of working out whether your market ideas are too competitive as part of the process. And if you follow the process, you're not going to launch into a market that is too competitive. Now, you'll probably identify some that are too competitive. um, And that's fine. You just move past those and that's why you develop a niche list, uh, a market list of 20 ideas or more, right? So that you're going to find <clears throat> at least a few in there that are not going to be too competitive. They're going to have the right amount of competition and they're going to be viable to get started in. Next question, does this work in every country? This is a good question. I mean, some people will be on this training who are from outside of one of the uh, kind of big e-commerce countries. You might be in a smaller country. I mean, I am in a small country too. I'm in Australia. Uh, pretty small country population wise um yes uh no no it doesn't work in every country but yes you can do it from every country so i'll explain what i mean by that so this will only work as in the business can only be located in a country that has an e-commerce market in in existence right if you live in a country that has no e-commerce happening um you can't have your business in that country um so if you're in the u.s the UK, Canada, Australia, um, uh, even New Zealand, um, Europe, European countries. This can and does work, right? Because you have established e-commerce markets there. Things like Google Shopping are running in those countries, you know? So yeah, you can totally get into it. If on the other hand, you're in some countries in Asia or um, maybe India, Pakistan, uh, if you're in Africa, 
uh, your e-commerce markets are a lot less developed. They are there, but they're a lot less developed. And so at some point, there's going to be a massive opportunity in those countries, frankly, with this business model, but it might not be there quite yet. Um, and so uh, you, this may not work for you in that to do it in that country. Your option, however, is that you can run a business in the US from outside of the US. So my answer would be if you're in one of those countries where there is no local um, e-commerce market, you can start a US-based business um, and run a business with US suppliers selling to US customers in the US. Now, the reason I say the US, the US, the US is that the US is the easiest country um, that has a large e-commerce market for you to start a business um, from another country. In comparison, in Australia, it's very hard for you to do that where I am, right? So it's, it's hard for a non-Australian to start a company here when they're not physically based here um, and, and sell here. So I wouldn't recommend it, right? But you can do it in the US. Um, once again, it's it's it, it adds a few extra steps in for you in terms of setting up the business um, and a couple of extra costs and we cover those in the program. But just know that it is possible to do that and people have and do do that uh, successfully. I can think off the top of my head of a client I've been working with recently who's actually based in India. He is Indian. He's based in India. And he operates a business on the US market. It's a fantastic business. I love his little business he's building. Uh, he's doing really well um, and he's finding a lot of success. Um, and obviously, he's still based in his country of birth. Uh, next question. What support will I get to be successful with Dropship Breakthrough? So, in Dropship Breakthrough, we give you a ton of support. This is probably one of the best supported programs I've ever seen. And I've bought a ton of programs myself. I buy programs all the time because I'm always looking for new things to learn. I'm, I'm a bit of a junkie like that, right? Um, so first off, we have a group coaching program, which you can, you have, when you join, you have unlimited access to. You can attend as many calls as you want whenever they're on, right? And there is no limit to that ever, right? So that's personal support, as in you get to talk to somebody, usually me actually, um, on a call and ask direct questions about either about where you're up to or things you don't under, you might not understand in the lesson materials or whatever it might be. We're going to talk about it, right? And you, you, they're they're happening all all year round, right? So you've got that. You can email our support team anytime with questions. Support at dropshipbreakthrough.com. We'll answer your questions via email if you like. We have a members-only Facebook group where all of our members of the program are. You get in, you get added in there as soon as you join. You can post questions in there. Um, you know, ideas, thoughts, anything you want, you can post in that group. And if you've got questions, of course, I'm in there. My partner Ben's in there. Um, we've got tons of experienced students who already have seven-figure businesses. They'll answer your questions as well. Um, and so you can get a ton of support in there. And so via those channels, yeah, you have support pretty much 24-7 whenever you need it for as long as you need it. Next question, uh, this is a funny one. Is this just another low quality guru course, right? So totally, I'm aware that in, you know, 2021 and beyond, the, you know, the online education industry uh, has exploded. There are a lot of people selling online courses. There's quite a few in the e-commerce space, of course, and the in internet marketing space. And some of those are pretty crap, right? Let me be frank. And there are people out there who try to take advantage of people like yourself, who are looking for ways to improve their lives with by offering them courses which promise a lot but don't deliver. Um, and, you know, people who flout the lifestyle don't actually follow it. You know, you've probably heard the jokes about dudes running ads on Facebook, you know, with rented Lamborghinis or boats and things they don't actually own to make themselves look really successful. Firstly, you will never see myself or my partner Ben do that. Uh, we are certainly, from a lifestyle perspective and what we promote online, anti-gurus. Um, some of my social channels are horrible. Like I don't, I'm not on there all the time. Um, you know, neither is Ben. Uh, you know, we, we don't do that stuff. We're honestly quite simple guys. We found a successful business model. We're passionate about helping other people to experience that as well because you know, we we both came from a place where we were we were really struggling with life, and this is the thing that changed it. And the impact of passing that on to other people is 
you know, is, is much better than any money can provide. Having said that, we're both successful dudes. You know, we're very comfortable in life. I, I don't spend my money on things. You know, I have an okay car. I don't have a flash car. I like to travel a lot. I like to have experience with my kids a lot. You know, and that's that's where I invest money. I, I invest money a lot into real estate, shares, you know, a bit of cryptocurrency, all that sort of thing. But this is not, it's not a guru type course, right? I mean, um, it's a high quality course. Um, you know, there is so much in there. Um, and once again, I mean, if, if, if you go in there and you think it's anything other than a high quality course, you can get your money back. I mean, you know, if, if the, if the teaching is not high quality, you're not going to find any success and you're protected in that case to get all of your money back by our double down guarantee. Next question. We're getting to the end of the questions here, but this one's a good one. Isn't being a dropshipper just like being a middleman? So this is like, like I mentioned in the training, I mean, dropshipping has got a bit of a bad rap over time, I think. And part of it is around, oh, you're just a middleman. You know, you're just taking somebody else's product and selling it to a customer. And it's like, yeah, so what? But that's my answer. It's like, so what? that's what retail is. That's what retail has already always been pre the internet. You think about a department store, for example. All a department store is doing is putting products on a shelf from uh, from manufacturers. They're not manu- often manufacturing their own products. They're providing a place for customers to go peruse products, find the one that's right for them from and, and consider multiple different options in the market and then buy one. We are, when we're doing high ticket dropshipping, just like a traditional retail store, right? That sells multiple brands, multiple supplies. It's no different. So yeah, I guess you're kind of a middleman as in you're in between the manufacturer and the customer, but there's nothing wrong with that. In the customer's mind, there is nothing wrong with that either. Um, because that's what they have always shopped with. That's the way retail has always worked. And yes, there are some companies that manufacture their own product and sell direct to the customer and fantastic. That works. That's cool too. But it doesn't mean that one is better than the other or that there's any right or wrong there. So embrace the middleman um, because the reality is that's what the majority of retail and e-commerce is and always has been. And the last question I'm going to answer here and then we're really going to wrap it up, is can I be successful even with no online marketing experience? Well, yes, you can if you have the support of a program like Dropship Breakthrough. And look, there are other options out there on the market. I'm not going to pretend like there aren't. I think ours is the best, and I think you'll agree if you do look at some of those other options. But without that sort of guidance, without somebody helping you, the the barriers to being successful with no experience are pretty high. As in, you've got a lot to learn and you're going to have to find reliable sources to learn that from. And you're going to make mistakes and that may make you drop out earlier. So um, yes, you can. Yes, you absolutely can. Uh, with or without programs like Dropship Breakthrough, be successful. But with a program like Dropship Breakthrough, your uh, chances of success are literally increased a hundredfold, and and I don't, that's no hyperbole. Um, I didn't have dropship breakthrough or something like that when I started. There were no high ticket dropshipping coaches at that point in time, and it was it was challenging. It was really challenging. There are a lot of points where I wanted to quit out, where I was like, "Man, I'm making too many mistakes. Man, this isn't working." I persevered, as I've said. That's one of the the traits. One of the secrets to success. I just hung in there through all of that crap and I came out the other side and and learnt everything that I know now that I want to pass on to you um, so that you can avoid all of those old crap moments, right? I want to quit moments. Um, I can't say that you're never going to have them, but they're going to be significantly fewer and further between. When you have the support of a program like Dropship Breakthrough, our community and experienced people like myself and my, and my partner, Ben. So um, with that support, though, definitely, you 100% can. All you're going to have to do is follow the steps of a proven process. Um, and after six months, like you're going to be a semi-online marketing expert. Honestly, you're going to know more than most people know about online marketing. Um, and you will no longer believe yourself to be somebody with no experience. So, yeah, get in there, get started. And uh, look, that's the end of the question. So if you're still here at this point, 
Thank you. Thanks for sticking with me. I think it's been probably over two hours by now. Um, it's a lot. We wanted to cover a lot of ground. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can email us. Still, if you've still got questions about joining the program, something you're not certain about, please email us support at dropshipbreakthrough.com. We welcome any questions or any feedback you have or anything like that. Please send it in. Um, we respond to every email, usually very quickly. Um, and we want to move you ahead, uh, both in business and in life. But please hit that join now button, get in there, and I will absolutely see you on the inside. Thanks once again for being here.